If you know where you've come from, and you know where you're headed, then you are not on a true journey. When you're on a true journey, you've long forgotten why you left in the first place. And you've no idea where you're supposed to go. At least that's what I believe, now that I've been on the road so long. Everything that happens on a journey is a coincidence. Little dots of coincidences simply overlapping. And I just watch them go by. It's like I'm watching a play and, and I'm the only one in the audience. So it was just one of those coincidences that I got off the bus in this town. Dumb luck, pure and simple. Another meaningless dot. I'm sorry, you want a summer project? Uh-huh, please. But, Kamio, you didn't come to school one day this year, and now you want a research project? It's a lot to ask, you know. Well, I can see that, but I love it. You see, the summer... What about the summer? You see, last summer, and the summer before that, and the summer before that, Whenever this time of year comes around, I get this feeling. It's hard to describe in words. I feel this passion inside of me, like I can be reborn. Like everything can just start over. That's Mizuzu Kamiya. She's supposed to be in our grade, but she's been absent every single day this year. I mean, she hasn't even bothered to show up once. Well, lots of people do that, you know? Yeah, but it's weird that she's here on summer vacation. Your theme is going to be my town. It can be about anything to do with this city. It would be nice if you had some photos and sketches to illustrate your essay. I'd normally assign something like this to a small group, but uh, I guess in your case, you'll be working alone. Right, so I guess the due date will be when school starts in September? Uh, sure. Goodbye then. Come behold the mysterious puppet man. Just a hundred yen ahead. Well, anything over ten. Let's get it. It's out amazing. Of here. Hey, hey, come on, come back. 
starting to think I'm hopelessly out of touch with today's youth. A long time ago, yeah, long before I started my travels, my mother would say to me, I can't even remember how many times, listen, listen to me, son. A girl is waiting for you up there in the sky. The sky? Yes. She is bound and unable to move, and she's crying, for she is alone. We have come across many like her over the generations, but we have never been able to save them. In time, you will embark on a journey, and someday, somewhere, you will meet her. You and you alone have been given the power to save her. But listen, Yukito. You must live your life as you choose. If you do not wish to take on this responsibility, you may simply forget she ever existed. <laughs> Look at this! Oh, Isn't it cool? Wow. It's, it's a, a turtle! turtle. It's, a turtle. It's, a turtle. it's a turtle! You mean a turtle turtle? <laughs> I suggest some time at the library. They should have plenty of materials on the town's history. Okay. that is still told in dim corners, one that the ebb and flow of time has not worn away. Somehow it has endured. It's strange and sad, this ancient tale. When the first winged woman was captured, she was with child. Her labor when it came was long and difficult. After the baby was born, it was taken away from its mother to a large estate in a village many miles away across the mountains. And the child of that winged woman was named Kanabi no Mikoto, but she was commonly called Princess Kana. was frequently alone, all by herself in a huge mansion. It was not uncommon for her to spend an entire day without speaking to another soul. You didn't see that. <laughs> kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, are you okay, or...? Uh... Could you do me a favor and at least pretend you didn't see it? Hey, don't worry. I'm sure I'll forget about it in no time. Besides, you falling on your face isn't really any of my business. <laughs> right. That's good. Yeah, you're lucky you didn't get hurt. Be careful. Oh, there you are. Uraha, who is that? Huh? What are you pointing at, Princess? You see? Over there. That person. Oh no, he's looking this way. Oh. 
for him. He's a new guard, only recently appointed to be on duty here. He was sent from the capital by order of the Minister of the Right. So... Yes? Oh, it, it's nothing. <laughs> Is there something you require of that manly, handsome person? That I... Oh, Ra, quit it! <laughs> And so it was that Princess Kana, who had always been alone, met the one and only friend she was ever to have in her life. Hey, what's with you kids, anyway? So, what happened to your little Gamera fella? <laughs> you know, your little turtle friend from yesterday? <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Check it out, kiddos. He may not do anything really all that special, but he'll tumble for you. Or do a cute little poopy. Or a sad little poopy poo. What's that mean? It's a summer project I'm doing for school. It's like an investigative report. Okay. I have to do a bunch of research on this town. The history and ancient legends, stories about the founding, you know, stuff like that. That's why I have to learn how to ride a bike. This town seems pretty small, but it's actually really big. Most people your age already can. That's exactly why I need to practice. With practice, I'm sure I can learn to ride in no time. Why didn't you learn before? Oh, I don't know. Stop it. <laughs> Come on, I'm just shooting pictures of the bridge. I'm not just taking a vacation here, you know. I understand. I'm working as hard as I can to make enough money to live on. That little puppet? That's the work you're talking about, right? I saw you this afternoon. Uh, I get 10 here, 100 there. It doesn't sound like much, but on some days it seems like a fortune. I'm here for your big summer festival. <laughs> that doesn't start till next Sunday. Sunday? Wait, you're kidding. That's a whole week from now. That can't be right. Mm hmm Oh, man. Guess I'll be sleeping outside for a little while longer. I went to elementary school here until just after the third grade. They said there weren't enough students, so they closed it down and sent us to the other school across town. Oh, yeah? I loved this place. I really did. <laughs> Where to next? And so it was that Princess Kana, who had always been alone, met the one and only friend she was ever to have in her life. Yalbikini was locked away for years. Who's Yalbikini? She was the winged woman, Princess Kana's mother. I guess that's enough research on the town for today. Thanks for everything. You really helped me out a lot. Hey, you don't need to thank me. I just expect you to keep your promise, okay? Here's your ramen, sir. And your rice? And your pot stickers. Are you sure I can have the pot stickers too? Go ahead, eat. Oh wow! I guess you were really hungry, weren't you? I haven't been able to make much money recently. But there are lots of beaches and amusement parks around here where people gather, so I bet you could go there and make tons of money. Well, basically, I don't really like people, so I tend to avoid crowded places. You know what? Whenever that's possible. Oh, yeah? Especially chummy families where the parents and kids get along. Makes me sick. 
And they have those really fake smiles. You know what I'm talking about. The parents and the kids. I mean, they'd never smile like that at home. I don't want them watching my show. But a festival is better? I don't know. I, but I always felt like people at a festival are more connected. That their laughter is actually sincere. So that's it? That's what makes them okay? That's all? Just sincerity? Well, yeah. What do you care anyway? <laughs> For your information, I've never met anyone who truly is sincere. It doesn't exist. Everybody's fake, in one way or another. Well, thanks for the ramen, rice, pot stickers. I appreciate it. I have to do more research at a bunch of places around town tomorrow. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I can't just sleep outside for a whole week. You shouldn't ride your bike when you've been drinking. You should call a cab instead. Okay, okay, okay. I'll leave the new shampoo and conditioner over here by the sink. Miss Zuzu? Mm -hmm. So, uh, who's your friend? I already told you. His name is Yukito Kunisaki. Ah. Mom's always the last to know when daughter gets a boyfriend. He isn't my boyfriend! I only just met him today. He's been helping me with my research for the summer project I'm doing for school. This is the third time I've explained that to you. He's not too bad looking though, right? <laughs> My, aren't you handy? It's so nice to have a big strong man around to keep up with all the repairs we need in this place. <laughs> this is just a temporary fix. I have to get some wood, some plywood, and some tools to fix it right. You can stay here as long as you like if you don't mind sleeping in the shed. I'll go back to the house and get you a blanket and some sheets. You mean I can stay? Make you nervous to be living with two extremely hot ladies? Yeah, uh, no. Now tell me the truth. Have you kissed her yet? Who? My precious little girl, Miss Suzu. <laughs> No, I haven't done anything. Oh, what the hell's wrong with you? Come on in when you're done. I'll make you some tea. Like the blowing wind. Unaffected by anything. Unimpressed, unseeing. I was supposed to be on that kind of journey. But instead, I met a girl named Masuzu and her crazy mother, Haruko. I'm not naive enough to think my life is really gonna change. After a few more towns, these people probably won't be anything but a faded memory for me. 
and this ugly premonition will be gone once and for all. That's what makes them okay? That's all? Just sincerity? Sincerity. You believe it, you imagine it, and eventually all you find is pain. It's stupid. <laughs> How are you this morning, Yu-Gi-Do? I want to know if you can help me with my project again today. Your breakfast is waiting for you. <laughs> She's like a bat out of hell. What was that? Oh, well, she rides really fast. Pyong, super fast! He... Never mind. Pyong? Uh, I guess so. Whatever you say. Let's go get some breakfast. Uh, okay. Mom is really something. Every morning she goes to sell fish at the fisherman's co-op. Then in the afternoon she goes over to the farmer's market and mans a produce stand. And then at night she's a supermarket cashier. Wow. Man, that's a lot of jobs. Ah, how wonderful! That isn't all. Oh, Narimasaka! and beautiful power. Thank you, but I am no match for you, Princess Kana. What? Are you telling me that you know? You know about me? It's no secret. You have the power of the gods, Kana. You know, but you... No, no, no! Everybody despises me because of this ridiculous power! I can't even take a single step outside this estate because they hate me so much! I'm not even allowed to... <laughs> then, since you already know about me, have you heard about my mother as well, Saruya? I've heard she's a prisoner, too. I've heard she's locked up in a cave somewhere over the mountains. I've never even met her. I'm sorry, Princess Kana. What is it? <laughs> Come on, what are you laughing at? Say this, and now we've returned to the seaside for our second day of research. <laughs> That's retarded. Why the heck would I say that, huh? Why the heck would I say that, huh? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! I remember thinking that morning, this is day two with Yukito, who might turn out to be the one and only friend in my life. And it started out pretty well. I can't remember ever having been so happy. We just met, but I felt like I've known him forever. But the princess knew all too well about the awful curse placed upon the winged people she would never be able to forget. <laughs> It doesn't matter that you love him. It doesn't matter how deeply you love him. If you confess your love, the flame of your life will burn out and you will die before the next moon rises. But that was the awful curse. The curse of all the winged people. What's wrong with that thing? Before the next moon. Here. Are you planning to research the shrine for your summer project, too? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, okay. Good luck, I guess. So, uh, who else is in your group, Cameo? <laughs> you are so bad. You know she's by herself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey. Huh? Hurry up. Are we taking pictures or what? Uh, uh, 
It's getting cloudy. You gotta hurry if we want to catch the light. Oh, right, thanks. Wait up. What's going on? He's her partner. Yeah, but he's hot. And she's Misuzu. Uh, so then how did I wind up with you two? Funny. Every time I've come to this shrine, there's been a total downpour. You know, I went to sleep right here in this room the first night I got off the bus. I didn't think I'd be back here again. My classmates, those girls from today, I think they think you're my boyfriend. Funny, huh? Doctor in? It's Haruko Kamio. Someone's here for you. Hmm? I got a record of her temperature every day this week. And her calorie intake, too. What about her sleep? All the sleep stuff is on the next page. Just approximate numbers, of course. You wouldn't believe how much she hates getting her temperature taken. Has she been complaining about any symptoms lately? No, ma'am. But she's never been one to complain. Hmm. It's really amazing how much pain that kid can put up with. Is it, or is it really as serious as I think? I believe what she has is more advanced than I'm equipped to handle. I'll write you a letter of referral to the university hospital. She needs to be examined somewhere with the proper facilities. No, doctor, please. Please listen, I want you to see her. I'll just bring her in next week. I'll tell her it's a regular checkup. She knows you, she'll be more comfortable with you. Perhaps if you explain everything to her first, I'd consider seeing her. I can't, I can't tell her. Cool, this painting isn't in any of the reference books I checked out. Don't you have anything you'd like to wish for? I've never wished for anything before, so why bother starting now? I brought some lunch for us, just a few sandwiches and a little juice. Nice. I made them before you woke up this morning. They look pretty good. Yeah, they're kind of my specialty. I started with nori, roast pork, bamboo shoots, and topped it off with a fish cake. What? It tastes like ramen. Oh, it's really great. Glad you like it. Oh, you wouldn't think they're stuck together with taste club. Yeah, not bad. So, what did you wish for back there? It looked serious, whatever it was. Man! What's up with these super thick juices you're always giving me? Yeah, aren't they great? What makes them so good is that they're really sweet and really thick. You know what I wished? I just stood there and thought, please take care of my mother. That was my wish. What do you mean by that, Miss Susie? I don't know. That's just what I felt at the time. It's funny, but I had a completely different wish in mind when I went up there. It's kind of weird. I know, right? Just because. I mean, usually it's someone who's dying, isn't it? When someone's dying, they ask the gods to take care of the people they're leaving behind. built on the side of the mansion where their princess, Lady Kana, was held captive for most of her life. Your legend sounds a bit far-fetched to me. I guess there are legends about them all over Japan, but this shrine is supposed to be the most famous one. Whatever. There's no way people can fly. Yeah, but... I 
Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could? <gasps> Fly away. <laughs> you're having fun but in the end the wing people weren't able to fly through the skies freely anymore everybody was afraid of their powers so the emperor of the time ordered that they all be captured and imprisoned for the rest of their lives the albicony who had gained eternal life by eating the flesh of the mermaids was thrown into a dark cave that would become her prison her newborn daughter princess kana was taken sent away to the sakura mansion which was located here they were constantly watched by legions of guards, and the two of them were never allowed to meet face to face, or fly. mansion but there's a place I'd like to go someday I would like to see the ocean the ocean that lies beyond the forest there is only one path to the shore and there are a few farmhouses along the way so we could easily make the journey <laughs> That's right there. stand down and let us pass I am second lieutenant of the palace guard. By the authority of the minister of the right, I command you. We're only going as far as the ocean, and then we shall return immediately. That's all. I myself will go with her as her guard. There should be no problem with that. We cannot allow it. Even if you were the minister of the right himself, we could not give you permission to take that girl outside of these walls. We are under strict orders to keep the princess here. For what reason? Any creature bearing wings isn't human. She's an abomination that distorts men's vision. Should anyone attempt to free her, we are under Imperial orders to take their head. Without hesitation. That enough reason for you, Ruya. Uh, Imperial orders? That's right. Directly from the Emperor. You got that? If you still want to leave, you'll have to kill every last one of us and be branded a traitor. <laughs> Oh, hello. Could you tell me, is the professor in? Oh, yes. My name's Hijiri Karishima, one of his old classmates. Hey, Pops. It's pretty hot out there today. Think I'll have my usual, but double up the sake. Sure thing, sweetie. Good to see you again. Yes, it's the young girl I spoke to you about the other day. Yes, from unknown causes. That's there you right. Go. I've been having her mother bring in data on her vitals every week. I've been noticing that they seem to be getting worse, slowly. A exactly. It's like her energy is draining away just a little bit at a time. No. Unfortunately, the patient won't even consider hospitalization. <laughs> so, what do you think he did next? What? He who? Handsome Saruya, of course, who wanted to take Princess Kana to the sea, but was stopped by the palace guards. Oh, who knows? I don't care what that ancient little pansy did. <laughs> You're funny, Yukito. Quit that stuff, okay? Your little giggles aren't cute. Oh, no. <laughs> that ain't cute either. <laughs> After their run-in with the guards, Luya made it his mission to visit Princess Kana every day and tell her about the outside world. He told her the wonders of the capital city, Kyoto. He told her unusual stories he had heard on his journeys. He did his best to make lonely Princess Kana feel better. <coughs> Hey, 
What happened to you? <laughs> and then Princess Kana said, Let's go home. She told Ruya, Let's go home. Please, don't apologize for being tired, honey. I understand. You get some rest. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Oh, Yukito hasn't had any dinner yet. <laughs> I'm on it. Check. <laughs> Fix this thing, too, would you? I've been putting up with this stupid door for years. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I hear you haven't eaten yet, huh? No, uh, well, no, I haven't. Let's go to that ramen and karaoke place. Uh, oh, that's right. You're new to town. Well, there's a place right up here that serves some really great ramen. Uh, I'm not really much of a singer. You know. Can you sing a little? I'm sorry. Yeah, you will be. I'm not much of a chef. You sure your stomach can handle my cooking? Uh, yeah. Might as well. Gotta keep you company. <laughs> By the way, freeloader. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Don't you remember? <laughs> you like to drink, right? Mm. Oh, good. Then we're gonna be friends. <sighs> We're all responsible adults, don't you think? Yeah. <laughs> this will put some hair on your chest, huh? You know what? I think I'm gonna drink straight through the morning. <laughs> uh, do me a favor. Be a good friend to her, would you? She's a good girl, isn't she? Different, but good. <laughs> uh, I drank too much. <laughs> Just forget whatever I said, okay? <laughs> is there... Is there something wrong with Masuzu? There's nothing wrong with her. Nope. Nothing... Well, I'm off to work. Bye! Drive carefully! No fighting, you two! Oh, the weather lady here, says it's supposed to rain all day today. So, I Just guess I might as well take a break cap. from doing field and work today, right? If you're taking the day off, I think I'll just go back to bed. Well, what about your breakfast? I'm not really hungry. Man, I've got a killer hangover this morning. Jeez, Haruko's such a drunk. Did we? Whoa, hey! There's a crow in the chute over on your shoulder there. Yeah, he's a crow. And he's also a friend of mine. This is Sky, Yukito. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I haven't seen him since spring. He just popped in to see me a little while ago. Sweet of him to surprise me like that, huh? 
<laughs> I wonder if he was busy raising a nest of cute little crow babies. <laughs> so I guessed right, huh? <laughs> so long! Bye-bye now! Come visit me again! <laughs> this guy really is something, isn't he? And he's even a good flyer. He can fly higher than any crow I've ever seen. <laughs> but of course I might just be thinking that because he's such a nice bird. He's strong, though. Did you notice how strong he is? Someday he's going to take me with him. He promised me. He said, we're going to go way up, way above the highest clouds in the sky. He hasn't told me when just yet, but... Someday, someday we'll go into the sky. And then I'll see... I'll see how amazing everything is. I'll see... everything clearly. You wanna play cards? I've got some in my room. I think I'm going out. I've got work to do. Really? Do you mean the puppet show? Yeah, that's right. But it's still raining. I don't think kids are gonna come outside today. They'll come out as soon as the rain stops. But it's supposed to rain all day long. Yeah, well, maybe. So you're still going, then? Yeah. Right. Then I'll go with you. I give up. You... Huh? I wouldn't want you to throw up again. I'd hate to have that mother of yours kick my butt because she didn't think I was taking care of you. My mother? Ruko isn't my mother, silly. Huh? Well, I guess I should say she isn't my real mother. She's my real mother's big sister. You understand? <clears throat> well, my real mother died when I was just a little girl. So Haruko took me in and stuff. Okay, so you and Haruko aren't really mother and daughter. Nope. <laughs> so, she gets drunk and you throw up. Well, <laughs> whatever you two are, you got a pretty interesting relationship. <sighs> Glad I'm not related. Yeah. Never mind all that. Look, I'm trying to tell you I'm at the end of my rope here. Yeah. At any rate, you should probably prepare yourself to. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Bye. But still, I love Haruko. Most of the time I think of her as my real mom. That night, the rain finally stopped. And then, for the first time in a week, no, more like 10 days, I was able to soak in a bath thanks to the Cameo family. Hey, Vagrant! Look who's home from work! <laughs> get out of here! What are you, drunk and crazy? Yeah, you got me pegged. Come have a drink with me when you get out, Tiny. You wish! Misuzu? Oh, look, there's a ring around the moon tonight. Sure is pretty, huh? Mm-hmm. So how was it today? What? How was what? How are you feeling? Did you take it easy like I asked? Mm-hmm. Sure did. I'm glad to hear it, honey. So, how's our little charity case doing? Hope we've been taking care of you while I'm at work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Miss Suzu, what do you think of this? <gasps> I found it at the supermarket. It's just plain cotton, but it's got all your favorite dinosaurs on it. I was thinking I'd use it for your kimono for the festival this year. I think this will be your summer festival victory kimono. Victory! That's right, victory, baby! <laughs> Day and night, 
They yearn to be together. And slowly, very slowly, Princess Kana fell in love, seemingly forgetting about the terrible curse placed upon her. <laughs> Even though it meant that her life would come to an end. <gasps> Saruya, even if my very life were to shatter into pieces, each shard would yearn for you until the end of time. I love you. <laughs> and so Princess Kana uttered the words that would bring the curse down upon her. It didn't matter how deeply she loved, or whether she was loved in return. The words were forbidden, and would bring nothing but pain and ruin. <laughs> so, I said to that fisherman guy, I said, you catch a lot of fish in your nets, but did you know that it's because a lot of them want to get caught because they don't want to live anymore? And his eyes sort of popped, and he said, there are fish like that out there? I told him, of course there are. Lots of creatures have a death wish, you know. <laughs> it's not just humans who want to die, no. I told him, I figure it's at least 10% of any population. Human, fish, whatever. Everybody wants to die, you know. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Come on, freeloader, laugh with me, will ya? <laughs> now, I hear that you're not really your mother. <laughs> I found this prescription in one of the kitchen cabinets. Hmm? It says, Masuzu Kamiyo take daily with meals. The cabinet was full of them, and everyone was untouched and unopened. If she needs medicine, why isn't she taking it? I don't know. What kind of answer is that? Nothing helps anyway. Not even the doctors know what's wrong. The only thing we know for sure is that she's getting worse no matter what we try. Those prescriptions, they're just tranquilizers and vitamins to ease our minds. But she won't take them because she knows they don't work. <laughs> I never should have taken her in the first place. It's so painful. <laughs> Miss Suzu, she really seems to like you. She seems to be smiling a lot more lately. More than I've seen in a while, anyway. Please. Yukido, be nice to my girl. Make her see how good it is to be alive every day. The sea must have been miles and miles away. But that night, I could hear the sound of the waves, like I was sleeping right on the beach. I couldn't help thinking, uh, I may have found the girl my mother predicted. The girl who was locked up, and crying, and all alone in the world. You and you alone have been given the power to save her. Whatever. It's just a load of garbage. I don't have any special powers, and even if I did, you know what I'd do with them? Nothing. way again. Wake up, Miss Suzu.
okay. You felt, you know, you felt kind of funny back there. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that bad? That's just because I fell asleep. And then I tried to run all of a sudden. If you're that tired, maybe you should go home and get some rest. I can't. We didn't get any research done yesterday. Maybe you've got a fever. You do feel a bit warm. <laughs> really, I'm okay. Isn't that the same school from the other day? <laughs> Masuzu, stop running! Take it easy, all right? Just slow down. <laughs> okay! I kind of like it whenever you call me by my name, Yukito. <laughs> Something about it makes me feel warm and fuzzy. If you want to, you can start acting more like my boyfriend. <laughs> Let's see... I guess I'll take a shortcut. Well, well. Just what do you think you're doing out here, young lady? When I was in the fourth grade, I buried something under this tree. Something very precious. I told myself I would dig it up when I turned 20. I'm no good with ages, but I'd say you're younger than that. Well, my circumstances have changed my plans a little. Yeah. Besides, they're planning on tearing the school down pretty soon. And if they cut down the ginkgo tree, I won't have my landmark anymore. Never mind about the tree. Tell me what you meant about that circumstance thing. Years ago, I took the mementos of my mother. Not Haruko, but my real mother. I took all the pictures and letters and things, and I put them in this tin, and I buried it under this tree. After my mom died and Aunt Haruko took me in, it took me a while, you know, to get used to living with her. I came to love her. No, I told myself I had to love her, even as a kid. I made up my mind to forget mother. It was really hard. But I knew that she would want me to move on and not waste away thinking about the past. I told myself that when I was all grown up, if I still wanted to see my mother, well, I could just dig up the tin if I wanted to. But you wanted to see her again before you were all grown up, didn't you? I can understand that. From what I've seen, you're at Haruko? She hasn't exactly been able to fill the void that your mother left behind. But for whatever it's worth, I'm sure she's trying. That's not why I'm here. I just realized that Haruko is my real mother, and that's why... That's why... That's why I don't need these memories of her anymore. Misuzu. Besides... It's all right, because I found someone. I found someone new to love. I want to be with you, Yukito. Princess Kana! Princess Kana! Are you okay? Why were you screaming? It hurts. <laughs> She just suddenly began crying in agony. No. Feel her skin, Araha. She's burning up. I'll be all right. Please don't worry. This is just my punishment for speaking those words. I was expecting this. There is no greater proof of my love for you than this, that I'm willing to lose my life for, for it.
Mi Suzu? Mi Suzu! She's already gone to sleep. Did she... Did she really have a fever earlier today? Not just a fever. She threw up a couple of times, too. Thank you for calling to let me know. I tried calling you right after lunch. That was six hours ago. I know. Thanks again. You selfish bitch! You should have come home when I called! Are you her mom or not? I can't take this anymore. <laughs> already I'm sorry <laughs> what do you have to be sorry about well for for this weird illness I guess <laughs> because it's so strange it affected everything I mean I've never had any friends you know I think this is the reason don't you see when I find somebody I really like that's when things start to fall apart my body or my head would start aching. And I'd have trouble breathing or get sick to my stomach. Oh. That's why I could never really get close to anyone. But with you, it was different. I love you more than anything in the world, Mom. I'm always thinking about you and trying to make you proud of me. When I think about how much I love you, there's still pain, but with you, I can bear it. It's easy to love you. Miss Suzu. You're the one I love most of all. I don't want you to have to bear the pain from that, so you just go ahead and hate me. I'd rather have you hate me than have to watch you hurting like you are right now. Just think of me as being scum of the earth. Can you do that for me, honey? Just think of me that way. Just tell yourself I'm nothing but a good-for-nothing loser, okay? Because that's exactly what I am. Oh, come on, Mom. You know I can't do that. Uh, Miss Suzu, please try. Don't worry, Mom. It's okay. What do you mean, sweetheart? I mean, I finally made up my mind. Huh? You see, I finally realized that it's much harder to bear heartache than it is to bear physical pain. What are you saying? I am never going to shy away from caring about all the people I love ever again. <laughs> It started raining again just before dawn. I was already having trouble sleeping, and the rain seemed to be intent on keeping it that way. The rain continued for two full days, until dawn, the day of the festival. Those two days gave me time to make my final decision. Would I become the wind and keep moving? Or just be another wounded traveler? This decision, it was big, important. Typhoon is approaching. Heavy rains are expected from Kyushu to the Tokai district. This is particularly you just got something to eat a second ago, huh? You're not being sneaky when you slam the refrigerator door like that. Well, I was kind of hungry, so I thought it would be fun. Isn't it about time you headed to work at the fish market or something? With heavy rains and a typhoon, they're not going to need me to work for a while. Besides, Miss Suzu is still running fever. Yukito? I thought I might have heard your voice out here. 
No, no. Oh, no, Miss Suzu. You should get back to bed. Uh, hey, it's good to see you. Uh, hey. Come here. Come in my room. I want to talk to you alone. <sighs> Sorry, Mom, but I'm kicking you out. What? Miss Suzu, you're still running a fever, aren't you? Shouldn't you, you know, maybe get some rest? Ta-da! <laughs> Found it! Here you go. I wanted you to have this, Yukito. What is it, exactly? It's a keychain with a dinosaur on it. It's always been my favorite thing in my whole collection. That thing? Are you serious? Yeah, since I was just a little girl. And this, take this too. Here, it's called the Easy to Learn Dinosaur Book. If you take the time to study it, you'll be a dinosaur expert in three shakes of a triceratops tail. Where did you ever get the idea I wanted to be some big shot expert on dinosaurs? Uh, uh, uh. Would you kiss me, please? Oh, it's okay, Yukito. Someday you'll want to, and then... And then... You'll see what I see. Ta-da! How about some, uh, what the heck's going on in here? Okay, I guess you're just seriously playing some cards then. You want some juice? You know, it can't be very good for her to sleep that much. The rain continued hour after hour. And I tried to spend the next two days pretending like nothing had happened, but... I couldn't help thinking that if this good-for-nothing guy had a little more courage, well, both Masuzu and I might have felt a whole lot better. While I was listening to the rain for those two miserable days, I wasn't thinking about anything other than you, Masuzu. You are more beautiful than anything I've met in my entire life. You're so sweet and gentle. You've moved my soul more than any other girl could. You're mysterious, you're blinding, and your voice is calming, soothing, almost making me forget my restless, wandering ways. I want to hold you. I want to wrap my arms around you and never let go. I'm sorry, I... I'm so... sorry. And then... the day finally arrived. fireworks, I left the Camillo household behind. Miss Suzu. Miss Suzu, looky here. It's ready. I finally finished your victory kimono. How are you feeling today? Um, I'm okay. Good. In that case, you want to try it on? Sure do. Oh? <laughs> Where did that exceptionally beautiful young lady come from, huh? I want to show someone. Let me guess. Oh. <laughs> That you and Yukito. Yukito, as 
gone away for good. That son of a bitch. Uh, hello? This is Keisuke. What? W wait just a minute. I thought we agreed it wouldn't be until after the festival. I'm sorry. But I just thought the sooner the better. Yes. Yes, I'm right in the neighborhood. And it was... And it was then that Sir Ruya apologized to Princess Kana. Forgive me. Here you are, weakening by the day. But I've been called back by the Minister of the Right. I have to leave for the capital first thing tomorrow morning, Princess Kana. I promise I'll return to you as quickly as I can. And so, Princess Kana, who knew she only had a little time left, placed her waning life on the line and decided to fulfill her dream. The sky. The endless sky. Just once. I'd like to spread my wings out wide. To spread, spread my, my wings, wings and fly. My wings will carry me along the wind and glow white in the sunshine. And I'll be free to soar over the mountains. Then I can finally meet the mother I've never seen. Misuzu, I've packed a few of your things for you. It's a shame you won't be able to see the festival, but... But you have to go out now. I'll send anything else you need later on. It's been a long time, Miss Suzu. You're all grown up. You look even more like your mother than I expected. I'm here because I want you to come live with me. It's a little far away, but there's a big hospital nearby, so maybe we can finally figure out what's wrong with you. In fact, they've got a bed reserved for you so they can start testing. From here on out, I'm going to be with you every step of the way, Miss Suzu. We're going to get you healthy, and once you're better, we're going to go visit your mother's grave. You know, I bet your mother'd be glad you're coming to visit her after all these years. You remember how much you used to love her when you were little? Right. Why don't you say goodbye to your Aunt Haruko? My mother. She's my mom! I'm not really sick at all, am I? The doctor can't find anything wrong. She said there was nothing wrong with me, didn't she? Oh, honey. You need to tell him that. Tell that man. <sighs> tell him I'm not sick. I never was. <gasps> Miss Suzu, I... I belong in this house with you because you're my real mother now. I don't want to go anywhere, Mom. I want to stay here with you forever. Please don't let him take me, Mom. Don't send me away. Please, Mom. <laughs> Everything's fine, honey. I know that you're in pain. That's true, isn't it? And I know it must be hard for you to bear. But, Mom... Do you know that I'm not really your mother? I can't take care of you like a mother would. Mom! Mom? I called him, Misuzu. What? I'm tired of taking care of you! I can't do it! <laughs> It's okay. Don't break down. It's for the best. You know it is. It all happened a little bit after noon. Of course, I only found out about it much later. How could I have known? There was no way I could have known then. This is the last stop, sir. You gotta get off here. Unless you want to go back the other way. What? There's another bus that can take you farther up the road, but it'll be a while. <laughs> Just my luck. This was turning out like all my other journeys. Nothing ever goes as planned, does it? I wanted to get as far away from her as fast as I could. But now I'm only a couple of miles down the road. I guess I won't forget her as soon as I was hoping to. I mean, I'm still close enough to, to see the fireworks. 
I've heard stories about this festival, but it really is something, huh? I'm sorry. I know you wanted to go this year. Why don't we come back next year when we visit your Aunt Haruko? Yeah, it'll be great. Maybe we can even make a trip to the shrine, too. Right, Miss Suzu? Miss Suzu? You got that, you stupid bird? Oh. I don't feel anything. You're not waiting to go further down the road, are you? We're running on the weekend schedule now. The other bus already made its last run a couple hours ago. Uh -huh. What do you want to do? If you're going back to town, this is the last bus of the day. Sorry to bother you, but I figured she might have gone back to your place or something. I've been looking everywhere, but I just can't find her. What? You lost her already? Yeah, that's right. What of it? The festival was the reason I came to this town in the first place. I came here to earn enough to tide me over. Work the crowd, then get the hell out. That was the plan. So I might as well make the most of this opportunity, right? Just because I got caught up in this weird, I don't know what to call this situation. It complicated things. But if I take the girl out of the equation, poof. No more complication. And I'm gonna rake it in here. Her wish come true. Sir Ruya attempts to help Princess Kana escape and find her mother. But once again, they're stopped at the gates. Come along now, Princess. We should really get moving before their reinforcements arrive. Right, let's go. They knew there was nothing now. Nothing to hope, nor to fear. Now that they were ready to give up their lives, the two even smiled as they approached the remaining guards. <coughs> hey, kids! Wanna see a show tonight? Good kids, bad kids, it doesn't matter. Come on, come on, and see the big show. Watch the puppet dance, and you'll be healthier, stronger. You're gonna laugh so hard your stomach will hurt. Just be sure and fill the hat before you leave. One, two, three, yippity dee. Yowza, yowza, yowza. And thank you for your kind donation. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks, I appreciate it. You guys are too kind. Oh, wow, thanks. <laughs> I made a total killing. Let's see, 4,000 bills? God knows how much in change. <laughs> it's all my fault. I just abandoned her after all these years. <laughs> now she's gone. How could I have... No! <laughs> what do I do now, Yukino? What do I do? <laughs> Get off me. This is no time to fall apart. You gotta find her! Get out there and look! No, you don't understand! I did look for her! I've been looking for hours, okay? I've been everywhere! She's just gone! We'll look again, as long as it takes. If we won't rest until she's found, I'll look too. We'll find her. You'll help? Of course. Because I... Because I abandoned her too. <laughs> Mrs. 
please. I just... I just want to see your face again. Please, Mr. Sam. The two of them no longer had anything to fear. Now's your chance, princess! You have to fly away from here! Fly as high as you can! the mother she had never seen but her body was riddled with arrows every inch of her body was pierced by the guards crude weapons and as she struggled to bear the awful pain princess Kana called out mother oh. <gasps> Kana I can hear your voice and the sound of your wings fly to me Kana I'm here I've been waiting for you come to me <laughs> who viewed Princess Kana's flight that day. They watched a woman who had been shot through the heart and who should have long since taken her last breath. They watched as, instead of falling to the earth, she remained in the sky, floating among the clouds. And then feathers as white as snow began to fall upon the warriors below, and they fell for days and days. But then... When they looked up in the sky again, they were amazed to discover that the princess was nowhere to be seen. She had simply vanished. Are you sure? What makes you think that Masuzu would go to the shrine? I'm not sure, but what if our neighbor said he saw her going in that direction? It was twilight, and he said he saw her slowly climbing these stairs. Damn. There's only one way in and out of the shrine. Keisuke said he'd be on the lookout for us. If Misuzu slips by us while we're inside, Keisuke will see her and he'll let us know. Who is that Keisuke guy anyway? He's Misuzu's father. You mean he's the one who forced her into his car in the first place? Yes, but there's more to it. There you are, Haruko. Oh, hi, Keisuke. I just remembered that I'm supposed to be home to take a call from the office tonight, so I'm gonna have to head out. Uh, hey, who are you? Oh! You'll do more good there anyway. If you want to go home, you don't need an excuse, miserable bastard. Um, uh... Oh, God. Oh, who was that guy? Huh? What you talking about? I don't see anybody but us out here. Damn. I'm no good at this, Mom. I'm better at being what I always aim to be. Just a scrap of paper being blown about by the wind. I'm no good at dealing with people. And that's why, why I've stayed away for so long. Love. <laughs> I'm just not made for that. Yukito, it is within you. Listen to me. You are the only one with the power.
can't just watch you. I can't just watch you fade away. Because I... I love you too much for that. the festival was over, it rained like it would never stop. But beyond that, it's hard to talk about everything that happened next. Well, Haruko and I decided it would be best to take Masuzu to the hospital after all. Her fever wasn't going down, and she seemed to be getting weaker, day by day. But in the end, I think we both knew that the doctors couldn't help her. We couldn't bear to leave her there. Mom? Mom? Hmm? Can you cut my hair? Oh, that's right. We're taking you to the hospital tomorrow. It'll be easier to manage if it's shorter, huh? Are you still feverish? Eh, no, it's not so bad. I wonder if the weather will clear up. They say it should stop raining this afternoon. I want to go to the beach. Hey, Yukito. Yeah? I can hear your heartbeat when I sit like this. Pump. I'll never forget how you were on that day. You were strangely light. It was like I was carrying a little child. This is perfect. Put me down here, Yukito. Are you all right, Misuzu? Do you want us to take you back home now? Uh, no, I'm all right. It feels good to be in the wind and sun. Now, go stand over there. Huh? What? You mean over here? Yeah, that's perfect. Just stand over there. You too, Yukito. Go stand over there by mom, please, Yukito. Like this? Is this what you want? <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Now just stay where you are, you two. Don't move a muscle. <laughs> What on earth are you trying to do, Misuzu? I'm gonna reach my goal. Goal? What goal? It's for my, my happiest summer ever. Because you're my real mom. My favorite, my favorite person in the whole wide world. And because I, I got to meet Yukito. I met him this summer too. He's my second favorite person. Second? Huh? You two are the finish line. We're what? What do you mean, finish line? What are you talking about? Misuzu! No! No, please don't move. I still... I still have time to reach my goal. It'll be... It'll be the last time... What? To reach you. Misuzu, you've been trying so hard. You can't quit on us now. You were too tired for school. But you still wanted to go. You've always done your best, no matter how lonely you were. You can't just give up now.
Everything is just beginning for you. Do you hear me? This is where everything is supposed to start. Because now we're all a family. From this moment, from now on, isn't that, isn't that right? for me. Where to now? <laughs> I don't know. Where on earth would I want to be? If you really want to know, maybe you should ask Misuzu. Because I got a feeling she's gonna be with me. No matter where I end up.